Good morning, all saints, and welcome to this edition of Lexio Divina with me, Mr. O'Neill. Lexio Divina is where I unpack a gospel passage and we reflect upon it and think about how it may have an impact on our own lives. And this week, we're going to be looking at a story that all of you, I think, will know, and it's the story, the parable, in fact, of the Good Samaritan. In this story, one of the disciples says to Jesus, who is my neighbor? And Jesus then goes in and tells the story. And what he's doing is enticing the disciples to understand and grasp the concept of their neighbor through the, this story. And he says that one day there was a man who was walking from Jerusalem to Jericho when he's set upon by some robbers and they, they beat him and they leave him half dead. And then it says that a priest comes along the road and walk, basically walks by on the other side. Then a Levite, somebody who would have worked in the temple and highly religious, walks by, sees um, the man on the floor and walks by on the other side. And then finally a Samaritan comes along and the Samaritan bandages the man's wounds, puts him on his horse, takes him to an inn, pays for him to stay and completely and utterly takes care of this man who's been beaten up. And Jesus then, at the end, rhetorically asks, who would you say uh, was the better neighbor? And they say, well, obviously, the, the Samaritan. In this story, it's really important to understand why this uh, and the meaning of uh, what the Samaritan did. So we, we look at the historical uh, and the political context so at the time, most of the people um, in Jerusalem and Palestine of that era, they were broken into three regions. And the three regions were Galilee, Samaria, and Judea. Now the Galileans and the Judeans uh, w were absolutely fine. They got on with each other, but they did not get on with the people of Samaria. And that had been gone back to about 500 years before uh, Jesus was born. So there was real tensions in the area and the Judeans and the Galileans looked upon the people of Samaria as people who didn't observe their laws uh, and people who were not very religious in their mind. So the assumption was, was that they were bad people, which is a stereotype that they should never have had. However, Jesus is challenging this stereotype. Now, in the story, it's likely that the priest and the Levite, who are highly religious, wouldn't have bandaged up the wounds of the, the man on the road because he would have been covered in blood. And in their religion, and in the laws of their religion, if they'd have touched the man, they would have been seen to be ritually unclean and may not have been able to carry out their normal duties. So that's why they walk by. Rather than help the man, they want to observe their own religious practices. So Jesus then challenges them by saying, well, the Samaritan doesn't observe the religious practices, but he helps the man. And that is far more important. What does this tell us? Well, I think it tells us a number of things about who our neighbors are. We're so lucky in our school to have um, students and teachers from, you know, all around the world, from different backgrounds and different cultures and different beliefs. But the simple fact of the matter is, it, these things aren't the most important thing. The most important thing is how we treat one another. And the lesson that we learn from Jesus here is that everybody in society, everybody in our school, whether they're different to us or not, they're still our neighbor, and we have to treat them with love and respect at all times. That can be really difficult sometimes, particularly when we have disagreements with people. So the challenge, all saints, for all of you, and this is a lifelong challenge, is that you treat those people who are different to you with love and respect at all times. Have a good week and good luck.